chicken bags. Time to talk about this. behind exotic philippines touch info but in this channel we're talking about travel travel destinations airports how to do things how to get to destinations a lot more and in this video we're going to talk about this things behind me the check-in bags these four bags right here is actually our luggages uh this three is actually my mom's but i've been using this uh, in the last trip in hong kong and china trip uh, this was my a carry-on bag because it's just small enough and this was also my check-in bag when coming back here in the Philippines because a lot of chocolates was in here that it goes beyond seven kilos which is the limit remember if you haven't watched the previous video on uh, carry-on bags you should watch that one we're in the maximum weight allowed in a carry-on bag is seven kilos and when coming back here in the Philippines it was like 12 kilos already because of and I bought, I bought some speakers and headphones, earphones, and a lot of stuff it's in China. Alright, I should be speaking uh, Tagalog in this video. So for those English speakers who want to understand this video, I'll put an English subtitle if you want. But since a lot of Filipinos demand that I speak Tagalog, uh, especially this video will be watched mostly by the Filipinos. So I'll be speaking Tagalog in the majority of this video. But pasanjan din po. Ang pagtatagalo ko, kasi for those who are new to my channel, hindi ako pa isang bisaya, and dito po kasi buong lumakay po sa Mindanao, and so matigas po talaga ang tagalo ko, at hindi po um, on the spot or ako fluent tagalog. Pero alam ko tagalo, kasi nandun na ako ng teleserye, ng general's daughter, uh, yeah, sana okay na sa inyo na mag English ako minsan, kasi um, medyo mahirapan ako minsan na uh, magtagalog at hindi ko masyadong ma-express ang dapat kong sabihin dahil hindi malawak ang aking pagkakanti, hindi malawak ang aking mga salita o words sa Tagalog. So yun, uh, I hope you guys won't mind that I'll speak Tag Tagalog and English together in this video. But anyway, let's continue talking about this bag. So this bag can fit up to 10 to 15 kilos, I guess. But yeah, I was able to fit in 13 kilos of food and gadgets. This one I think can fit in uh, up to 20 kilos to 25. This is my old luggage. Who ha this one was the luggage I have that I've been traveling to El Nido, to uh, Baguio. And I put the. I tried to put. I tried to copy Casey Nice that guys. I put I tried to put my letter G and it's supposed to be the monkey right here and I tried that one I failed because uh sa ano sa Clark uh na papunta kong Baguio uh, I think it was Clark or it was it in Naia oh, yeah, I'm not sure I forgot but um a foreigner almost got my bag he thinking that it was his so that's the disadvantage if you have a black bag so yeah, try to put something in your bags na makilala mo na yun ang bag mo, especially if it's black. Anyway, I decided to retire this bag because uh, the handle have, has a problem already. So see, it has GoPro on it. That's what I can tell with my bag. And it still, it still have even the, the, the airline ticket on it. So, um, I decided to retire this one and just buy my mom's luggages. This one was bought in, here in Cebu. This was expensive. Uh, this is urban, just like my other backpack. Uh, Check-in bags with a lot of pockets. This is something like this comes along with this one. Uh, these two are partners. This is the smaller version. This is the smaller version of this one. This is the supposed to be the check-in bag and this is its version of the carry-on bag. But this mom, my mom bought it in the US when she visited in the US because she bought a lot of stuff from the US which I it was supposed to go with if I was given a visa. So what is 
the difference between the carry-on and the check-in bag. Ang check-in bag po ay yung bag na iiwan mo with the clerk kung pag-check-in mo. Sa, di ba, may after, when you go to the airport, you will be checking in. You can go uh, check in online. You can also go to the counter desk and check in yourself or through a clerk. Either way, if my bag ka na iiwan and to check in, dadaan ka sa counter para iiwan mo yung check-in bag mo. So, hindi mo dadalhin sa loob. So, let's say I have this Orban luggage as my check-in which weighs let's say 20 kilos and this one is my carry-on bag as uh it's under seven kilos uh yes i made it 10 kilos when i went to hong kong and china i tried so hard to make it seven kilos so what's the difference between the check-in and the carry-on bag on check-in ito iiwan ko sa check-in clerk sila na bahala maglalagay sa loob ng aeroplano actually sa ilalim yan ng aeroplano nila ilalagay so therefore you don't have access to it meanwhile ang carry-on bag sticks with me will go with me so i highly advise yung mga gadgets mo like this one the camera yung drone yung um, laptop mo yung valuables alahas Pera mo. Huwag mong i-check-in. Yung mga mamahaling bagay sa carry-on bag. Especially yung medicines mo dito nila kayo. Just remember, wala kang access pag nasa check-in bags. Ang carry-on, kay copy na paudala ng carry-on na 7 kilos para yung mga valuables mo, yung medicines mo, ay nasa bag mo na accessible lang sa'yo. So, ang tanong ng iba ay, eh, kailan ko makukuha ito si check-in bag? Si check-in bag makakuha mo pagdating mo sa destination. Example, lilipad ka ng Manila to Cebu. Sa Cebu mo na siya makukuha. Ang mga staff na ng airport or ng airline, bahala na kukuha sa ilalim ng airplane at ilalagay nila doon sa conveyor belt. I'm not sure if yun ba tala ang tawa, conveyor belt. But ganito po ang itsura na saan mo makukuha ang bag mo. So you just have to find the, the conveyor belt or how to call it. So all you have to do is find the area or the number kasi pag, pag circle yan, pag malaking airport, may circle yan, madaming uh, conveyor belt, tapos may number per or circle ng conveyor belt. Pero tip lang po, huwag nyo iwala ang inyong boarding pass kasi tignan nyo yung mga luggage namin. Hanggang ngayon, matagal na kami nakalipad. Ito din. Ah, ito wala na. Ito. Ito sa US pa to na ano. Kasi pagpansin niyo, pag check-in kayo, yung bag niyo rin lalagyan niyo ng tag. Kasi ito may pangalan ng anong airline, anong destination at kaninong bag to. So, huwag niyo iwala kasi just in case mawawala nila yung bag mo, ma-track nila at malalaman nila, oh, sa iyo pala to. Sa iyo pala to na bag. Kasi yung boarding pass is matching with the bag tag. So, huwag niyo iwala yung boarding pass. And again, if you want to help this channel grow, Please uh, subscribe. You may also help me through taking on PayPal. Uh huh, uh huh, that's it. So, kailan ko mare recommend na mag check in bag kayo o mag carry on bag lang. Pag kaya niyo naman i fit into this bag yung mga gusto niyo dalhin, okay na to. Kung kaya niyo ito squeeze in to 7 kilos, okay na to. Please watch the other video kasi I compiled everything about the carry on bag. Kasi bawal dito sa carry on bag ang more than 100 ml. But to avoid that problem, the liquid problem, I'll be giving, I'll be creating a video on packing tips. So watch out for that. Subscribe to this channel, guys. Please help me grow this channel. <laughs> Subscribe to this channel if you want to learn more about first time flying, uh, packing, and traveling. So, I recommend ko na mag check in bag kayo if marami kayo na na. Um, if di nyo kaya talagang i-fit in sa isang carry-on ang gusto nyo dalhin, mag-ano na lang kayo mag-check in. Nasipan ako today guys, so pagpasensya nyo yung boses ko at saka napakainin. I'm sweating already sa so pagpasensya nyo na. Huwag na maraming hanas, ang dami nyo reklamo. So kami ni Shanky, we always prefer to have a check-in bag. Kasi we want to bring our, I have my camera, I have my batteries, I have my uh, GoPro accessories. Tapos saka yung mga suit namin pagligo. Kasi we always go to destinations na may swimming talaga. So marami kaming damit. Uh, so we always prefer to have a check-in bag. 
Pero wala nang hassle-hassle na mag-weigh pa kami. We always have the 15 kilos uh, check-in bag. Pero lately, na-notice ko wala na yung 15 kilos, 20 na. So, if gusto nyo na hassle-free, na di kayo mag sa na over na over baggage kayo, do have the check-in bag instead. So, you might ask, Uy, maganda yan, hindi hassle. So, mag-check-in bag na ako. Free ba yan? Well, no. For Cebu Pacific and Air Asia, hindi po siya free. Hindi po free ang check-in bags. So, carry-on bag always uh, allowed. Kahit anong airline, international or domestic, you're always allowed to have a 7 kilos carry-on bag. So, always free. You're always allowed. Okay? Pero pag check-in na... Ibang usapan na po. My charges na po yan. The charges, the rates will depend on the airline and the destination. Mas mahal po ang check-in bags international at mas mura yung domestic. While sa PAL naman, yung economy super saver nila, wala pong free na check-in bags. Pero yung economy saver nila, meron pong allowed na 10 kilos. Before it was 15 kilos, pero you have to check na lang yung, ano, yung ticket mo if you're flying with PAL. Check na lang your ticket if ilang kilos ang allowed or if you get to have a free chicken box. So as of the moment, ang alam ko na pwede nyo i-add sa ticket nyo o i-add sa paglipad ninyo is 20 kilograms na bag, chicken box, 30 kilograms na chicken box, at saka 40. So may nagtanong sa akin actually recently, is it the 20 kilograms, 30, 40 kilograms per bag or pwede combine? Actually, pwede po na ito ay 10, pwede po ito 10, pwede 15 ito, pwede 5. Sa 20 kilograms na check-in, pwede po ang dalawang bag. Sa 30 kilograms na check-in is pwede tatlo. At uh, saka sa 40 is pwede apat. So pwede every bag is 10 kilos. Um, pag dalawang bag, for example, uh, 40 kilos yung check-in bag ninyo, at saka dala nyo eh, dalawang 20, uh, pwede po yun. So, how about the size? Meron ba limit sa size? Meron po ang suggested na size is 56 by 45 by 25. Ang maximum na pwede nyo i-check in. Uh, these two are very, very great. This, I think, was the, ano, uh, the medium size bag. And this is the large one. If you watch my video on the carry-on bag, sinabi ko po doon ng mga, mga bawal na ilagay sa carry-on bag. Maybe tanong nyo, may bawal din ba sa check-in bags? Bawal po sa check-in bags yung mga explosives, flammables. Bawal din po yun sa check-in bags. Pwede na po ang more than 100 ml dito sa check-in bags. Pero careful lang po, pag example yung shampoo ninyo, if like for example 200 ml you wrap it na lang ng cellophane or yung ziplock kasi there are times na nagbo-burst talaga yung ano nyo, yung uh, container yung bottle kasi more than 100 so, dahil yun sa pressure kasi so it can burst so pag burst ng shampoo ninyo eh yung mga damit niyo mababasa lalo pag lalo na pag may mga things na dapat ibabasa mababasa sa bag niyo so uh, I, I highly suggest na put it or wrap it in a cellophane or a ziplock so what if sa airport na kayo mag-add ng check-in box patimbang niyo tapos give me what how much you would pay uh wag niyo gawin yan uh, the same thing uh, what i said sa carry on bags na video ko Wag po ninyong gawin niyan kasi mas mahal na po pag nasa airport na. Kasi for example po, uh, 20 kilos ang check-in bag niya So, instead of you're just gonna be charged 380 sa, ito po ay Cebu Pacific rate ha. 380, uh, if I am right. Uh, let's just say 380 ang um, 20 kilos. Uh, sa airport po, hindi na po 380. Ito po ay magiging 200 per kilo. So that is 200 times 20 kilos. Ito po mabayaran ninyo. Ito po ang babayaran ninyo. Hindi po 380. Ito na po. So wag po niyong gawin. Unless mapera kayo, okay lang. So if you don't mind paying that one when you arrive at the airport, then 
do it. <laughs> so, kailan po kayo pwedeng mag-add ng check-in? You can add this one while booking a ticket. Pag, pag nagpabook po kayo sa travel agency, sabihin nyo na mag-add kayo ng 20 kilograms, 30 kilograms na check-in bag. Pero, what if, for example, uh, bukas yung flight ninyo or next week yung flight ninyo, na-realize nyo na hindi kaya sa inyong uh, carry-on bag ang yung dalhin, saka nagka-10, example, 20 kilos ang um, kailangan nyo pala, hindi kaya ng 7 kilos yung mga dadalhin nyo kasi yung mga kamag-anak nyo, may mga papadala or something. Pwede pa rin po mag-add kayo ng check-in bags. Just make sure na you will do it, gawin ninyo ito bago 4 hours before the flight. So for example, 10 ang flight ninyo, gawin ninyo dito ito, mag-add kayo ng check-in bag before uh, 10. So that means by 6, hindi na pwede kasi before 4 hours. So 5.30, pwede pa yun. 5 a.m., pwede pa yun. Uh, 1 a.m., pwede pa. The, the week before, pwede pa. So what if next week yung flight niyo or bukas, pwede ngayon mag-add na kayo. Paano kayo makapag-add ng check-in bag? Pumunta ka lang kayo sa website ng airline niyo, uh, yung PAL, yung AirAsia, may manage booking po sila doon sa website nila. As for PAL, sadly, tatawagan nyo pa sila. Uh, wala sila sa website nila. I'm not sure why. But you have to call their hotline pa para makapag-add kayo. So, yun po. Uh, sana na po nakatulog. If you have any questions about check-in bags, first time flying, carry-on bags, please leave the comment down below. Check on um, other videos. I'll put also the link on the videos na nire-refer ko dito, yung first time flying guide. Airport basics, yung carry-on bag, ilalagay ko po dito sa ibabaw, ibabaw, sa ilalim ng video na ito, at saka sa comment section. Pero again po, don't hesitate to ask me questions on the comments down below. I always respond to your messages, kahit mga rude kayo, kahit mga insulto na nagagawa ninyo sa aking kagandahan, sa aking kabababuyan. Oh, sinabi ko na. Okay, masaya na. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe on this channel. Share this video. Share the love. And send your support to me. Subscribe to the channel. Share this video. Liking my video and giving a thumbs up. See you guys next week. Every Friday here in this channel. This is G. See you guys next week. I'm finally done.